Hello. <laughs> I have been uh, a bit challenged this morning. And it's really nice, actually, to have got to a place inside of myself where I am more patient. <laughs> I'm more patient with when things go wrong. God, if you'd have seen me not that long ago, I would have been so beaten up on myself. But I don't anymore. And um, I actually can laugh. And so, <laughs> and this is one of the benefits of my personal growth journey and meditation practices in my life. Um, so this is the third time I've tried to post this video. And the first one I made was on this page. And it was a really cool video, except the sound was distorted. So I'm really hoping that the sound is better now. I'm using a USB cable from my mixing desk, hence why I'm talking into a mic. And um, I think it has some kind of compression thing that means that when I sing, um, it won't distort. Um, because the microphone I was using before was the one that's in my little Mac here, which I don't think could handle the strength of my voice. Anyway, let's get on to the topic at hand. So, this uh, controlling the exhalation meditation on my album, I made it to help me learn to sing long notes. I was finding it hard to sing long notes. And um, when I made the first version of this video, I sang you a song that I used to use to help me practice singing long notes, which I can do very well now. And it's uh, Stevie Wonder's song, all is fair in love which is one of my favorite tracks it's a ballad that not many people know and um there's another song because i'm not going to do the same thing twice i'm not that kind of girl um there's another song that i used to use for singing practice which um oh it's so beautiful i can't think what it's called um the movie that it comes from but it is a lovely and i found one i'm going through my itunes at the moment and um yeah i found this this recording i did let me just plug in and um it's the song called calling you i can't remember the name of the movie and um i'll just play you a little excerpt because i don't have a backing track but i could maybe find one it's a beautiful song and um see if it works. This was a great singing exercise for me to extend my exhalations. This is what I used to do in the olden days. See what happens. There's a road from Vegas to nowhere. Do you know this one? Someplace better than where you've been. A coffee machine that needs some in a little cafe just around the bend You get the drift, right? So that's a good singing practice. I'll have to look for the backing track of that. And if I can find it, I'll sing it in my repertoire. And um, so, yeah, that was what I used to do in the olden days. And the Stevie Wonder song, which I sang earlier, but you missed it. Um, so I created this uh, controlling the exhalation meditation as a way to do kill two birds kiss two birds with one uh, pair of lips um, kill two birds with one stone is a bit a funny analogy isn't it um so what i do is i get to meditate get to relax be in the present moment and be with myself and i get to make my exhalations longer and longer so the way that the meditation works is that the exhalations 
get longer. So I count the whole way through, which some people find a bit like of a head fog. But for me, um, it's really works with my right brain, the one that's quite analytical and thinks in zeros and noughts, zeros and ones. So anyway, I do counting and um, yeah, I, on, it's like four counts to inhale, four counts to hold, and then four counts on the exhale, but that exhale changes all the time. So it could be four, and then it's five, and then it's six, and it goes up to nine. And at the time when I created the meditation, nine was enough to hold a, a note or to hold an exhalation for nine notes was enough. And now I could go way beyond that. So I'm gonna make a new version and what I noticed in the video I made earlier, I demonstrated, which I'm going to do here, how I can use it as a singing exercise. And um, yeah, oh gosh, my brain's gone dead. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a different version of it for my next album. It might be that I do a singing exercises with soul album and put it on and go to longer counts. And it might be that it, it's on my next meditation album. Who knows, but I want to make more albums, that's for sure. So I'll just um, tell you a little bit about it. Earlier on, right, I did the whole thing, like 10 minutes or eight minutes of the whole thing uh, on a video. And uh, it could be a bit boring for you, but any singer might be interested and you can always turn off. But so before that, I'll tell you a bit more information. Um, when you move up the scale, you need more air to reach from your diaphragm to your head voice. So it's harder to hold a long high note than it is to hold a long low note. And um, using the exercise, you can work up the scale note by note with the counts and then come back down again. And um, that will even make it even stronger. You don't actually have to sing any any notes to get the power of this exhalation controlling vocal air practice. But if you add notes to it, it just takes it to another level. And before a gig, it's really cool to do something like this because you get two benefits. You get the benefit of controlling your breath and preparing your breath and yourself for the singing. And also you get to bring yourself into the present moment. And then the final thing about this meditation, which I love, which I didn't know at the time, but have discovered since, is that it stops me from thinking a lot. So if I get lost in a train of thought, I can tell because I get lose count with the inhalation, exhalation instructions. So it's a really good way to just bring me back here into this moment, into my body, into this present moment, and not on huge long lines of thought. So I think that's enough information. I'm just gonna play play it now. And um, I use Spotify for playing music, even my own music. I just love Spotify. Now it doesn't give us much royalties, but I just love it. And um, yeah, but if you did want to give me royalties um, with Spotify, if you put my name down or you go to the album and go to the artist, there is a button that you can press that uh, says something about COVID. And it goes straight to my PayPal account. And I'm raising money for mental health charities this month. So it will also, some of the money will go to them. 20% is going to go to Young Minds UK. But anyway, back to what we're doing here. I'm going to play it and demonstrate. I'm going to demonstrate it a little bit this time because I did it for ages earlier and I'm sure that's going to be a bit boring. So I'm even going to take you up to a different part of the track where there's a bit more challenge and see what we're at. Send it into your collarbone. Oh, wrong. Meditation. Inhale. Let's just two, fast forward her. Three, four, five, six. Hold. Two, three. Okay, I'm starting here. Four. Inhale. Two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, 
So it's really fun. Um, I don't mind when I notice I go off track. I can find myself back on again. I was thinking about, oh, God, is this video boring? Um, maybe I could demonstrate um, how people could use a keyboard to choose the notes that they're going to sing on next. Um, which, because when I'm going to make this as a singing exercise, I'll take that background sound out. So it's easier to com use your own scales um, but in in the meantime let's see if I can find you what I do is I use um, if I haven't got a keyboard with me out and about or an instrument of any kind I go on GarageBand so this is my iPad but what I love about um, my mobile well GarageBand is that I can take it's on my phone it's on my iPad and um, I could work out like here's the keyboard I've made a lot of the tracks on my album with this with the garage band I started them on on garage band could be doing it anywhere in the park so this is the sound of let me see so I can go, ah we try a bit with the meditation see if it works Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold. Two. You know, you get the drift. I can't. I can't concentrate enough um, to make it happen. But you go ah ah, and then back down ah ah. So you can do that using the this, but also you don't need what one of the things that I've done with this album is. The, the actual meditations on here are a lot of them, at least three of them, are designed to give you an idea about something you could do where you don't actually need me playing to do it. So the um, controlling the exhalation, I use, sometimes use my heartbeat and I count 
um, every heartbeat is a count. So you don't need to have Alison playing in the background telling you what to do. You can use your own brain and then you could just literally do it with a keyboard or again, some people don't need a keyboard, I don't, just to go up and down different notes and do this counting exercise and this extending exercise. Um, it's just an idea, I'm planting seeds of ideas into people's heads of things they can do in their own time, in their own way. Um, that one, the controlling the exhalation, the vocal toning body scan and the loving hands meditation are all ideas that I'm trying to spread to encourage you to use your own tools um, to do things that balance you out and make your life easier and better. Um, they're tools that I use and I needed to record them so I could use them on myself because if I just wait to make my own initiative, it won't happen. But if I have them recorded, then that gives me direction and focus. It's like me bossing myself around. <laughs> anyway, I think I've said enough and I really would love to um, hear from you about if any of you have trying this um, meditation. And I thought maybe I'll finish with reading a review. So I have some of the tracks on my album are on the Insight Timer meditation app, which is the app I'm in love with. Um, I use it so often. And there's loads of counting meditations on there. And if I go to the controlling the exhalation meditation, I've got reviews on there. And I'm going to read this one from Anne. It says, I'm not a singer, but found this repetitive exercise demanding focus separated me from the distractions of a busy day. Let's read another one. This is Joe. This meditation was wonderful. I've been looking for a meditation like this for three months, Alison. Thank you very much. I don't think I'm ever going to be a good singer, but hopefully I will become a breather. Oh, isn't that lovely? <laughs> Let's find another one. This one's from Ariana. Ariana in Avery, California. It says, thank you. As someone who loves to sing myself, I find this to be a helpful tool for expanding my capacity bowing deeply and sending love. Oh, it's so nice. So yeah, I'd love your feedback, anyone who's tried it. And um, over and out. <laughs>